Welcome to my 2015 Christmas decor tour. I'm so glad you're here and we're starting at the front of my door looking at my stairs. At the top of the stairs, I have this Christmas tree we got from Pottery Barn a few years ago. And then on the stairs, I had these empty jars and I put in them my flameless votive candles I got this year with some snow and then a little bit of fake foliage around the top. This is the way the entryway looks by the door. I actually did this about a thousand different times, so I'm finally settled on this look. On the mirror, I have a magnolia wreath that I made from a vine, and I just tacked that up there with some burlap ribbon. And down below, we have my luminaire candle. I love the way this looks at night. Little stars dance on the wall. It's really pretty. And then we have my tiny little Christmas tree on a stack of books that I covered in white paper. And on the bottom, I just have this printable and a big sparkly ornament. Moving on to our powder room. This is what you see when you first walk in. The overview basically. I love my snow sign. You guys know why it's written backwards. If you don't, you'll see in a minute. In this picture frame we have, I just did another printable and then underneath that I just took all these little trees and kind of did a snowy scene. These are all things that I already had and I'll probably throw that snow away when I'm done because it is the bathroom. <laughs> By the stack of fresh white towels. I have my anthropology inspired little snow globe. I made that last year. All in all, I went with a kind of snowy white and red theme. This is what the bathroom looks like from the other side. In the mirror, you can see that you can read the snow sign clearly now. This is why I do it, so you can see it the right way in the mirror every time. Taking a closer look, these are the branches that I have in there. There's actually two different kinds of snowy branches, but it all works. And then in this vase, I have these little red beads that really hold the branches in place. Next to that, I have this little igloo. It was gifted to me. It was supposed to hold the sponge, but I put it in here because I think it goes with the theme of the bathroom very nicely. And then we have our soap. I did want to get Bath & Body Works soap, but I didn't want to stand in line, so I settled for this one. And it still goes with the theme, so I like it. Moving on, before we enter the living room, we have this hallway. And on that mirror, I just have a magnolia wreath and I actually made that from a vine that I got. I just cut the vine and I looped the end through, shaped it up, put some burlap ribbon on it and I was good to go. Underneath that I have my mohair pillow I got from Target. I love that thing and next to that is my little reindeer pillow I ended up getting from Georgia. This is an overview of our living room before we go into the details. If you're familiar with my other home tours you'll notice that we had to rearrange the whole space in order to make the Christmas tree to fit because it ended up being way too fat, but that's okay because I think it looks pretty. On the other side, we have our TV stand, and we ended up moving our fig fiddle leaf tree to the other side that kind of hides the cords too. And then I ended up layering like three different types of vines on there and took these lights that I got on clearance from Target last year. There, I love the stars because you know, the wise men follow the stars and the nativity is on there. And that is from my grandmother. On this chair, we have another pillow I got from Georgia. I love how it mixes the rustic, yet it's very clean. And then the pillow behind that, I feel like matches the silver pillows on the couch. I think my favorite part about my whole decor this year is my coffee table. I love the way it turned out. It's very sparkly and Christmassy and festive. I just have these beautiful white roses in this vase on top of my Elements of Style book and my Nutcracker book. And then on the other side, I just have, you know, a couple flameless candles, my Anthro candle, and it just looks so pretty at night. Taking a closer look at our Christmas tree, I tried to go with all white ornaments this year, but I ended up putting these sparkly pine cones on it, and I really love the way it looks. I made the snowy ornaments and the plain white ones I got from Target. All in all, I love the look of this Christmas tree, especially with the clear icicle ornaments that we got when we first got married. In the dining room, you'll notice that I completely redid our wedding wall. I'll go into more detail about that in a different video. I really love the symmetry of this space, and you'll notice that a couple strands are, of lights are out in our garland, but that's okay, it's really old. I fluffed it going all in the same direction to make it look a little bit nicer and more natural. And then for our wedding wall, I ended up putting this printable in this frame, and I like how I can change it out seasonally. Now moving on next to this, we actually have this pile of pillows here in the corner. It hides our Christmas tree plug, and that is on a remote. 
Next up, we have our chandelier. I put these snowflakes through some little holes that we already had in the chandelier holding our crystals, and I really love the way it turned out. Moving down below, we have our centerpiece. I put these flowers on our wooden tray, put some little Christmas tree clippings from our Christmas tree in it with some cranberries. It's very festive and very easy and very natural. Looking the other way, we have our kitchen. Needless to say, I love the way it turned out. It's super Christmassy and I couldn't ask for more. At the top of our cabinets, you'll notice the garland from my Michaels haul. I also took all the little Christmas trees we had and created a display up there with them. I think it goes with the height of the ceiling really nice and this garland goes all the way across to the other side. And next year, I wanna add lights to them. This is a closer look at what it looks like around my oven. I especially love this little dishcloth. And then below there, I have that rug I got from Target when we first got married, and I love breaking it out every year. And then in that little snowman cookie jar I got from Goodwill, I have my Justin's dark chocolate peanut butter cups in there because you guys know I'm obsessed. This is just what the other side of the counter looks like. Nothing special, but I do think it's really festive. This corner looks totally cluttered, but at least it's functional, and I'm pretty happy with it. This is my little gingerbread house that my grandmother got me, and below that is my pile of coupons I'm using. This is what it looks like on our island. I really like that apothecary jar with the little lights in it. I just think that it's easy and festive, and you can see how I've kind of rigged it in order to plug it in. I really don't mind this cord hanging here, but I think it's important to show you guys this type of thing. This is my bar cart and it, you'll notice again a lot of things from my haul. This is just an overview of it. I really have so much fun styling this for the Christmas time and really every holiday. And you know I love this sign. I found a place for it and it's right here. I absolutely love it. And then in this little Christmas tree I just have a hidden owl and I just wanted to show you guys him. And that is it. This concludes my Christmas home decor tour. This is just the overview of what it looks like from the other side. Very Christmassy. I had so much fun decorating my house this year for Christmas and I really can't wait to next year. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe for more videos. I have a special one coming up and I'll see you soon.